I spent a lot of time researching the three major certifying bodies for surgical technology, so you don't have to. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips. Took a lot of time researching these three certifying bodies uh, for surgical technologists out here in the US. And I just wanna say it was, it was a little painful. It was a little painful. Um, but I'm glad I did it because I think this is all really good information for anybody out there looking into becoming a surgical technologist or just wanting to know uh, more information about the certifications. So I'm gonna break this video up into five major parts. Uh, I basically tried to organize it as if I was asking myself a question and doing the research behind it. Uh, so with that, we'll just jump right into the first question. What do these companies acronyms stand for and what is their history? So first and foremost, the, the biggest of the certifying bodies I would say is NBSTSA. Uh, that stands for the National Board of Surgical Technologists and Surgical Assistants. Uh, they, the company was founded as a nonprofit, um, I think 1974 as a certifying agency for surgical technologists. And then later on, I believe in 91, they started certifying for surgical assistants. An important thing to note is NBSTSA is certified by the NCCA, which is basically, uh, like a government regulated certifying company. Uh, from our federal government that basically um, looks into other certifying companies and, and things like that related to all professions in the US. Now the second certifying body is the NCCT uh, that stands for the National Center for Competency Testing. They cover not only just surgical techs but a lot of other kind of allied health professionals uh, medical assistance, phlebotomy, stuff like that. If you look at their website, you can kind of see uh, a list of all the different types of certifying bodies or certifying professions uh, that they're, they're certifying for. Now, they have been credentialing people from 1989. Uh, slight difference in this certifying body is that they are a for-profit company. They're not a non-profit uh, like the previous one I mentioned. But this company is also certified through the NCCA, which is that big kind of government regulated uh, company. Now the third credentialing company is somewhat of a newer one uh, that I've just recently found out about with the onset of online education and it's called the AAH. It's the American Allied Health uh, Company. And they are kind of similar to the NCCT where they do credentialing for a lot of um, allied health professionals, not just surgical technologists. But from what I could find out, it was very difficult to find a lot of historical information on this company. But from what I could find out, it seems like this specific uh, American allied health credentialing company was put in place and started credentialing people in 2005. And they are backed by not the NCCA, but another company uh, called the NCHSE, which is another nonprofit company. It was really hard to find information on this, um, but apparently they were given like a grant by the government to create national healthcare standards. It, it was really kind of convoluted and hard to find a lot of like concrete information on it. But those are gonna be the three main uh, certifying bodies for surgical techs out there in the world right now that we're gonna to continue to talk about. What title is given on passing the certification? So this is a pretty quick one. Starting with the NBSTSA, that gives you a title of CST. That's a Certified Surgical Technologist. With the NCCT certification, it gives you a title of TS-C, which is considered a Tech and Surgery Certified. And with the AAH, they give you a title of NCST, which stands for the National Certified Surgical Technologist. Uh, but all encompassing, all of these are technically just considered national certifications. Testing requirements. To be able to sit for the NBSTSA exam, you are required to graduate from a school program that has been KHEP or ABHES accredited during your enrollment or you've graduated from a military program with a copy of your DD-214 graduation certificate, transcripts, things like that. 
testing cost for the NBS TSA costs about $190 for AST members or $290 for non. The NCCT requires you to graduate from an approved NCCT school or you could be a high school graduate uh, with a verifiable three years of experience working in an operating room as a surgical tech. So if you are on the job trained and you've been working for three years, you can, and it's verifiable by like the nurses you work with or management, just fill out the forms and you'll be able to sit for an NCCT exam. Also, same thing with uh, the previous one. If you've graduated from a military program and can show your DD-214 uh, and transcripts and everything, you can also sit for this exam. This exam costs $199, uh, no membership needed. The AAH requires you to graduate from a surgical technology program of some kind. There was no specifics that I could find online. Uh, or if you have at least one year experience working in the field in a hospital, I'm guessing verifiable again, uh, you would be able to sit for this exam. Or if you have military training and experience bring your DD-214, you can also sit for this exam. And this exam costs $130. Main differences between all three of these certifying bodies and their exams are the AAH is actually the only exam that you can physically take online. All the other ones, NBSTSA and the NCCT would require you to go to a testing center and take the test there. But the AAH has some built-in testing software, uh, probably something in the line of like having a cam having like your computer camera on you the whole time, uh, stuff like that. A lot of online schools utilize this for, for testing. Next is what does it cost to renew that certification? So with the NBSTSA, uh, a lot of people have a lot of gripes about their CEUs and recertifications, but they only need you to do it every other year. So you get two years to do uh, your CEUs that you need, and it's 30 CEUs are a requirement for uh, surgical techs within NBSTSA certifications. Um, with those, you have to complete all of those certification uh, or all of those continuing education credits through AST. They all need to be approved through AST. It's kind of like a little partnership they got going on there. So you're going to need a membership through AST to be able to log all that stuff as well. Uh, so when it comes up to your year of recertification, it's going to cost you on average somewhere around the realm of like 230 bucks if you're averaging out like $5 per CEU because you have to pay for the CEUs, which are basically just, you know, research. It's, you know, an article that you read and then you do a test on it essentially. So for the NCCT, they only require 14 CEUs, but you have to do it every year. Uh, they require you to get CEUs and have a membership through their company, NCCT. Uh, and the average comes out to, if it's about $5 per CEU, I'm not sure how much it is on their website, um, it would come out to about maybe 140 to 150 every time you recertify. So actually just a little bit more. And then with the NCST or the AAH, um, they, they also require annual, uh, kind of similar to uh, NCCT, but I, I'm not, I couldn't get an exact number of what their annual membership is, but they only require five CEUs per year. Uh, and obviously you can get them through their website. So their, their requirement is just a membership through their company, five CEUs per year. I don't know what the exact number is because I couldn't find it, um, but I, I'm sure it's a heck of a lot less. Sorry to interrupt the video, but if you're interested in going through an online surgical technology program, this video is sponsored by Preppy. Preppy's program is 100% online. You can get your surgical tech training anytime, anywhere, through a self-paced training environment. Once you enroll, you get instant access to all the training materials, eBooks, video slides, interactive slides, simulations, and more. They also set themselves apart by actually offering an externship site local to you after all your coursework is done, 
and an opportunity to take the certification exam through the American Allied Health Association. All that for the low tuition rate of only 1600 bucks is a pretty insane value. So if you're interested in taking an online surgical technology program, check out the link in the description below for Preppy. Now let's get back to the video. Now lastly, the most important question, where are these certifications accepted? So this has always been the big question and kind of like the big debate when you're talking about surgical technology. Uh, and it, it's still a difficult debate to have. It's, it's hard. I'm going to list up here uh, all the states that require certification now, and they require certification because uh, AST, which is the S Association of Surgical Techs, uh, they've actually gone through legislation in all of these states and enacted a bill that says or states that they require this state requires certification uh, to be able to operate in this profession. Um, I looked into some of the legal documents uh, and some of them say uh, NBSTSA specifically, some say NBSTSA plus NCCT or nationally certified surgical tech. So there are, some of them do have like little loophole wordings uh, in the bills as well. Um, it's, it's just, it's really, it's as, as stupid as, it's, as, as this is, it's really up to the hospital. <laughs> That's what it always comes down to. Um, you know, if, if a hospital goes to hire you and they see that you have a nationally, a, uh, national certification for surgical technology of some kind they're most likely going to hire you but I'm not saying it's it's a guarantee um, so you have to do your due diligence and maybe talk with your hospitals and things like that before you dive into whatever type of education you want to go whether if it's you know university setting through an ABHEST or KHEP accredited school and you're getting your NBSTSA and your CST or you're going through an online school because you don't have access to that type of stuff. So there you have it. It was pretty painful to find all this information, especially everything about the newer uh, AAH kind of online certification for all these online schools now because that is that is what it seems like it's focused for. Um, but yeah, there you have it. All the information's there in one nice video for everybody. And I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys down below. See ya.